F-117 Nighthawk. It looks like it shouldn't fly, and it deserves its nickname, the Wobbling Goblin. But though it may be ugly, the F-117 is another cutting-edge design by two names that recur in relation to stealth aircraft, Skunk Works and Kelly Johnson. Johnson led the design of the SR-71, and the Nighthawk was one of his last projects. Born after combat experience in Vietnam, where increasingly sophisticated surface-to-air missiles repeatedly downed U.S. heavy bombers. I mean, in Vietnam, I think the tally was up to over 800 missiles fired at the SR. The most striking thing about the Nighthawk is its faceted design, which incorporates the most sophisticated stealth thinking of its time. This meant that despite it being the same size as an F-15, it appears on radar screens the size of an average bird. One of the main reflectors of radar is actually the fan face. And so modern stealth designs try and hide that fan face from direct view. The F-117 did this in an interesting way. The designers at Skunk Works set the engines deep within the airframe. The inlet screened with rotatable louvers to deflect any radar signal. The Skunk Works team also added noise minimization to counter the whine that jet engines produce, making the Nighthawk unnervingly quiet. The F-117 Nighthawk was the first production truly stealth design that had been optimized from the beginning for reduced uh, observability, principally again in radar cross-section, but also in infrared signature. The result is an aircraft that is quiet, all but invisible, and extremely lethal. During the early morning hours of January 17, 1991, in response to Saddam Hussein's invasion of Kuwait, a fleet of Nighthawks slipped over Baghdad unseen by Iraqi radar and neutralized 37 targets. Over the ensuing weeks, they would strike with remarkable accuracy. Less than 3% of the American aircraft in Iraq were Nighthawks, yet they accounted for 40% of all strategic targets hit. And of the 64 made, only one was ever lost in combat. But while the F-117 was deadly, it carried a limited payload of just two laser-guided bombs of up to 900 kilograms each. The next challenge for aircraft designers was to create a strategic weapons platform that combined stealth with massive firepower. An assessment published by the U.S. Air Force concluded that two of these aircraft, armed with precision weaponry, could do the job of 75 conventional aircraft. It's the B-2 Spirit, the latest generation of stealth aircraft. With a wingspan of 52 meters, the B-2 is big. And yet, when a former head of the U.S. Air Force was asked the size of its radar signature, he described it as insect category. Conceived during the Cold War to infiltrate the Soviet air defense network and attack targets with nuclear weapons, the B-2 Spirit is a high-lift, low-drag, flying-wing design. Engineers have long known that flying wings have minimal radar signature. They surmised that properly shaped and constructed using advanced composite materials, they could create the ultimate penetration bomber, undetectable by radar. So almost 80% of the B-2 is constructed out of a woven carbon graphite composite. With the aid of modern supercomputers, the outer skin was shaped to deflect radar energy in a way that is far more subtle than the Nighthawk. And a new alternate high-frequency radar absorbent coating is applied to each B-2. Its four turbofan engines are internally mounted and have an exhaust temperature control system to minimize thermal signature. And its weapons capability is up to a devastating 18,000 kilograms in a single payload that can include a mix of weapons, allowing it to engage up to four different target types on any mission. It can also carry air-to-surface missiles 
with ranges up to 370 kilometers, allowing it to stand off an attack from well outside a conflict zone. Capable of attack missions from altitudes above 15,000 meters, with a range of more than 11,000 kilometers unrefueled and over 18,000 kilometers with a single refueling, the Spirit has the ability to fly to any point on the globe and engage a target without ever being seen.